track since last year. Tabanova competing, not for a country, but under the flag of the European Athletic Association. And she's gone off right at the back. She has been training, we know that. She also has the Olympic qualifying standards. She's been given the right to compete at the Olympic Games. But as a competitive athlete, as a woman who's been one of the best half-milers in the world, she will not want just to go there purely for the processes of significance and to state what has been her case. At the moment, she's got a lot of work to do. She's stuck right at the back here in this first round heat of the 800 meters. Out in front, the Stegen, the Dutch girl, Herring, the very tall German, very good athlete, Christina Herring. But at the moment, well, you'd have to say that Stepanova is looking in some discomfort and tailed off at the back. It's been a disappointing performance from, well, we'll call her a Russian athlete because she is Russian, but she's not representing her old flag. She's just simply running here under the banner of the European Athletic Association. But it is Herring out in front. There she is, the rolling shoulders, Bukula, 157 athlete at her best. And now, well, Stepanova isn't even on the same screen. So Verstegen, alongside Buchler's Herring starts to fade. Remember, it is the first four who go through to the semi-final. One of them won't be Yulia Stepanova, who is now about 60 or 70 metres behind these athletes. It's Buchler who leads. Verstegen being roared on by the home crowd. She's there in second place. Buchel and Verstegen moving clear here. Evangelidou there of Cyprus coming through in fourth behind Herring of Germany. But it's Buchel who takes it. Verstegen comes through in second. And well, looking back down the track, well, I'm afraid that Yulia Stepanova has stepped off and she's stepped off about 150 or 160 metres short of the finish line. So... The Russian came here, it was...